Hello, my name is Derek G. Hamlin, defense attorney extraordinaire, and welcome to the next installment of my video blog. I'm an attorney and a chemist, the perfect blend when your case involves forensic science. That's DNA, that's CDS, that's fingerprints, and that's gunshot residue. Now let's talk about some of the new laws that have gone into effect in Maryland. The first we'll discuss is the new cell phone laws. It was already illegal for you to drive while talking on your cell phone. However, now it's a primary offense. Before they had to have another reason for pulling you over, like you were speeding or a light was out. Now the only reason they need is using your cell phone. So if you know that you have outstanding warrants, you have failures to appear, you have a suspended license, or you have some type of child support issues, or you may even have some type of contraband in the car. Don't give them a reason to pull you over. Police love to pull you over. Say that they smelt marijuana so they can search your car, harass you, and arrest you if they find something. So don't give them a reason. There are several exceptions to this law. The first is that you can still call 911. You can still initiate and terminate calls, meaning that if your phone is hooked up to your car speakers, you can still answer the phone and you can still hang up. And speaking of hands-free, if you have an earpiece, you can still use an earpiece while you're driving, provided that you're not under the age of 18. If you're under 18, you're not allowed to be on the phone at all while you're driving, or if you have a permit, not a full license. If you have a permit, you're not allowed to be on the phone at all, even if you're over the age of 18. Uh, bus drivers are not allowed to talk on the phone at all. And finally, police officers and emergency uh, responders are allowed to be on their phones. So don't tell a police officer, I'm on my phone because you're on your phone. It will not fly and you will get that big ticket. If you're involved in an accident while talking on your phone, it's an automatic three points on your license. Now, texting and driving, they're making a big deal about it like it's something new, but since 2009, texting and driving has been a primary offense. That's the only reason they need to pull you over, which means don't give them a reason to pull you over, whether you're swiping pictures on your Instagram or playing Angry Birds. Don't do it. Don't give them a reason to pull you over, stop you, harass you, and possibly arrest you. The next law we'll discuss is the new seatbelt law. The new seatbelt law requires that everyone in the car have on a seatbelt. Which means that you can no longer roll to the club eight deep in the car. Unless you have five seatbelts in the back seat, you're not allowed to have five people back there. So keep that in mind. Additionally, anyone under the age of eight must be in a car seat or a booster seat until they reach the height of four foot nine. Which means that if your kid is four point four foot eight, even if he's 150 pounds, he's required to be in a booster seat, even if he doesn't fit. Additionally, you're not allowed to be in the back of a pickup truck unless you're 16 years of age or older. And finally, but most importantly, in fact, this may be the most important law passed in Maryland since I've been practicing. And I want to first thank the Maryland General Assembly and then the governor for signing this into law and allowing us to join the civilized world in banning capital punishment in Maryland. And I'm so thankful to finally see it here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video blog and learned something helpful. If so, give us a call for a consultation and let's discuss your situation. I'm Derek G. Hamlin, trial attorney, going to bat for you.